Hello, hello, everybody. Tonight we will be continuing our Legend of Spyro, a new beginning playthrough. Last time, we went on an absolute tear. <laughs> we discovered that, no, Spyro is not a dragonfly. He's just a dragon. And he found Ignitus. Just hanging out in a cave, Yoda style. Well, I guess less than Yoda style. Yoda actually had a house. We cleared out the sanctuary. We saved Voltir. Then we saved Surreal. And so far, it's been a fun old time. <laughs> we learned that we can use lightning to just throw people around. And uh, still trying to find the niche of the ice breath. Which Surreal is going to teach us the intricacies of the ice the ice breath here because we stopped right before he was gonna give us that there training but we shall get a move on and see what secrets the da -da -da, ice breath has see about saving Torador and finding out what the hell his breath style is because it's green so it's obviously not water but I don't, like, I don't know. Maybe it's weed breath? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah, we're gonna go and see. It'll be a surprise, the very least. So let's -a go. <laughs> From YouTube chat, perfect time to stream. I have to start work, so I'm gonna have to wait until my break. Hmm. Well, hopefully... If you listen on your break, it'll be a nice, fun time for you. I hope your work goes good. Yes, yes, Voltaire. Ah, darn it. Yeah, we have to go through this cutscene again. Captivities are nothing to slow that electric tongue hmm, interesting. Months of imprisonment. But that doesn't make much All sense. Right, no more for you, pal. Maybe that Ooh, means yeah. that... Please. The Guardians were holding on to the eggs, and then the forces of darkness attacked the Sanctuary, which then the Guardians went on the warpath, trying to fight off Cinder's forces, and then they only got captured months ago, but I don't know. <laughs> Considering that Spyro was an egg when we got sent down the river, I feel like it's at the very least been years. So yeah, I didn't know. The best of the best of this somewhat bedraggled lineage is long and storied. With my help, rescuing. I just I didn't notice that line of dialogue before. Months of torturous imprisonment doesn't make much sense timeline-wise. And my fanfic would have a truer timeline. Well, let's go learn the power of the ice breath. Kind of funny that we have to walk in and then he walks in instead of him just being here. Certainly fire and electricity are nice side lights, but now, young dragon, <laughs> highlights, they're very good. The secrets of ice, a power worthy of the elite. But will it though? It does it's it makes the small people into snowballs, which just means it's a lesser electricity. And then for, like, then it does freeze trap, like, medium guys, I guess, for comboing. But then for bigger enemies, it at most seems to maybe do a bit more damage. Or is it just, like, like, okay, so, interesting how some enemies, like, freeze. Hmm, interesting. Seems a bit odd. Some of them instantly freeze, some of them take a little bit, I don't know. Well, uh, maybe you just need to play with it more. I am over here. <laughs> more from the YouTube chat. Balls. I got the restroom yesterday. Well, that's good to know. Ah, oh, darn it. I missed the tutorial voice. All right, freeze when they are in range. Once frozen, melee them. Defeat all the enemies. Well, 
Ah, it's just the chase down again. So not the craziest thing. <laughs> it's just like, hey. This can be used for combat. Or combat. <laughs> it's a funny tutorial thing. Oh. For some reason, it feels like the tuto this tutorial went far faster. I dare you. It feels like the chase down went a lot faster, timer-wise, than before. Quit running about. <laughs> I move my camera. He's already moved. Out of my range. Oh. Pretty good. Get cornered, idiot. So yeah, it does feel like that first timer went really fast for some reason. Weird. This way, oh Marv One. I'm already here. I was there before you. As each dummy appears, hold down the triangle to chill it with your eye shards. You must hit ten dummies to pass the lesson. This definitely feels like something that would be best, like, uh, upgraded, maybe. I feel like I hit ten. Darn you. Doesn't help that it's not like a, a super good projectile. So I have to really move my camera around to see. And then I have to get close. Not a very good projectile, really. Again, maybe upgraded it's good. Chase after the dummies, then press and hold to chill and slow down the dummies of your ice shards. And again, how many enemies are actually running from us in this game? This would have been something that OG Spyro would have liked, because those egg thieves would have gotten what for. But all enemies are running towards me in this game. All of them want my dragon ass. Over here. Oh, but now we're in the middle again. The one time that he was like, hey, over here, led me in the wrong direction. So it's just weird because, like, none of the interactions I've had with ice so far have been like the tutorial, like, <laughs> from the actual gameplay. Most enemies be either weren't affected or became small snowballs. But now all enemies are freezing. So, like, <laughs> if most enemies from here on out do get frozen, then this will be a very powerful breath. It's just weird that some of those enemies just became snowballs. Which is, like, meaningless to me. Then you're useless to me! But we can now freeze all these dummies. Ice Age! Turn everything just... Oh, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. I do have some, like, potential critiques, but it all depends on, like, the overall of the trilogy. Depending on how the second and third games go, I might recommend, would have recommended that this game be split into two. 
Yes, your hypothesis is an intriguing one. It is perplexing to the extreme. What is? He says he doesn't know what he's talking about. Dude, I never know what he's saying. What I'm saying is that Cinder is harnessing the Guardian's power to unlock a portal. I guess you know that through your little... Open. <laughs> your own pool of knowledge. Behind this portal. That doesn't concern you right now. I think it does. What does concern you is getting to Munitions Forge and freeing Terador. Terador. So she can create another crystal from his powers. Well, obviously she's going to do that. That's enough, Voltier. There's plenty of time. Plenty of time. You could just tell me. Plenty of time where we need more time to have horrible things happen to us. Why did we just stay in tall plane? Oh, I'm a big deal. <laughs> Quit complaining, Sparks. I don't even know if they knew who he was, except as a mosquito. Yeah, but there's always something special about the first try to save. You know? Will there be a flying segment? We've only had one so far. It's like, it was part tutorial and part, hey, go ahead. It was to go to the frozen place, and after that, we just haven't flown anywhere. Munitions Forge is an island dominated by Poison Big. Poison Big? A stable volcano makes life on the surface very dicey. The locals who live underground have been forced to mine the metals that Cinder uses Yeesh. to forge her army's weapons. I, li I do like that this place... Manwismals? Manwismals? What? But I do like the kind of lore being provided here. We know she's using him to power the last of the crystal she needs to open the portal. Free him before she gets the chance. I do like that little bit of lore. Time to get serious. Let's go. Let's get dangerous. But very neat that they're like, hey, this is how she fuels her war machine. And immediately enemies become <laughs> snowballs instead of frozen. Many explosions, many deaths. Like, yeah, if the enemies just became frozen, I would vastly prefer it. But now nah, it just makes them to snowballs, which I do not like. If I could hit them while they were snowballs, maybe. Oh, the, the water is very caustic. I guess it would be hot. In another spiral game, that looks like it would be a hole that I could go in. For treasure. Well, we're gonna lightning you off. The music here is really good. Off with you. Nimrod Rot Tooth. I guess he was a mighty hunter. I think they just like were stacked up on top of each other here to fight me. Into the lava you go, little man. Thought I'll just burn you alive. Especially because your name was Stone Ice. Ah, more want to come to die. How dare you survive. Oh, he just, he committed suicide. I didn't even have to throw him into the lava. He saw all his friends going, and he was just like, ah, I guess I'll join in. Okay, I have to 
take a double check there for a moment, because I think... That's a cool heat haze effect. That's neat. I like little things like that. It's just very nice. Oh, are you a boys at small? A kobold? No take candle? What's that? Who's there? Oh, he's blind. It's it's me, Spyro. Oh, and blind the Morat. God of tall plains, Sparks. You don't carry <coughs> the stench of cinder beads, so you must be friends. We are. Twelve friends of and enemy of the enemy's friend. Oh, how dare you, Molière. We need to free a dragon. We're here to rescue a big friend of ours. Is he a massive dragon? Yes. Why? Because I know where he's been kept. Good, good. He demands near a large leather camp where my own brother exhumed pearls away. We can help each other. Well, which way do we go? What should we do next? Kill all the enemies! Burn them to hell! He's getting more unstable by the minute. We must clear these caves before we can help your friend. And you're asking him for directions? Wow, talk about blind leading the blind. Forget him, Molière. We're in. I already feel like this is kind of what I would have wanted, uh... The previous level to have been. Get to know the people that we're saving. And kind of earn the legend, as it were. This is going to be a annihilation for you. Annihilation for you all. I had to clear out of there for that big explosion. <laughs> then again, for you, I should be able to like Oh, he's a big guy who likes to to block. But uh, otherwise, he was just a big guy that I couldn't freeze. How dare. A bit, so we should probably check out our level ups. Hmm. Because, hmm, maybe. Uh, honestly, I think the fire. Uh, but then again, we could save up because we're probably going to be getting the next breath here. And we could level that up. Potentially. I'll annihilate you. Get out. I burn you to death. But also, that is mildly horrifying that they're basically... tortured to keep going. Oh, fire beetle. I thought... <laughs> I, at first I was like, huh, I wonder why the ambient creatures are just... Out here more and more. It's like, oh, because they're enemies. Out of nowhere. Goodbye. A 
That's very rude. I keep forgetting that those guys have actual, like, uh, range attack or like ground pounds. This is how I shall defeat them. Through the power of smackety smack. All right, so for bigger guys, stun locking them with uh, the bubble ball, stun locking them with the power of electricity is probably good for big, big guys. Be gone, low snake. Oh, have I freed them? That was cr that was <laughs> that was wacky. It was nothing. Hey, no problem, pal. Well, you did your part. Now I will do mine. Your friend is being kept in the center of the volcano, past the labor camp where my brother X Humor is working. He says that all <laughs> explicitly that my brother X Humor, never just X Humor or my brother. Yeah, all you manners we smalls look the same to me. Why you will know him? Trust me, he is the most cantankerous, hard-nosed man with small around. Whatever you do, don't get on his bad side. Have you found a purpose for ice breath yet, or is it still used for stun locking? It's still wonky because small enemies become invulnerable snowballs, so I don't want to use it for small guys. But then, like, bigger enemies are invulnerable to being frozen, so it's, like, very specific enemies are affected by it. Die, Fire Beetle. We're running back because there were gems for us to smash. And we need to stock up on our gem power. So that we can just instantly level up the next... Uh, <laughs> bah, 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 the next breath that we're going to get. That I have no idea what it is. It's green. But I don't know how that correlates to breath. Also, just weird that there's fire beetles as enemies now. Ah, we're back here. <laughs> I think there are a few other paths we've yet to go. And I want to make sure we get all the gems we can. Oh, what? <laughs> Enemies were walking about, and then they just despawned. And then apparently there's an enemy somewhere. There are enemies somewhere out there. Beyond Yonkers. Hello, boys. Into the lava with you. Into the lava. Into it. Into lava. Spyro, war criminal. Seriously, this is some pretty brutal stuff. Hardcore Spyro. Yeah. I do like that we actually saved the Manwee Smalls. 
so that we actually got to know a bit while I doubt I can throw you in there. Well, maybe I can. Let's try it. Nope. <laughs> they should have, though. A magma worm, eh? Seems more like a magma snake with arms. Slap some tits onto it and the world will be much happier. Hmm. For a moment there I thought maybe my ice breath was actually affecting, like, its size. Oh. I thought you were a new enemy. You're an old enemy. And now you're dead. Well, aren't you a bunch of crazy bastards? Well, obviously, uh, goodbye. Man, you did a lot of damage to me, how dare. All right, small enemies, fuck off. <laughs> At least there were those th gyms there. It's just hard to maneuver the camera with all these enemies about. Be gone, little man. <laughs> I have to deal with big man. Big man, ugly face. For the power of throwing you about, I shall kill you slowly. I need to remember, big guys, very susceptible to stun locking through, like, uh, electricity rather than ice. But really, those are the weirdest enemies yet. Okay, hello, Skarner from League of Legends. I, oh yeah, I forgot I can... Do that. Get obliterated. Yeah, it's just... It's the snowballs. Be gone, little man. I throw you against the wall. So yeah, <laughs> big enemies, potential comboing game. I would like control of camera. I was trying to strafe, but the game's being a bastard. I hate that the little guys just refuse to die sometimes. You try to focus on the big guy and they're like, eh, fuck you, big guy. Because inevitably the big guy's always on your ass. So you can't kill the little guy. Fuck off. And of course they go airborne right when it's least good. I shall throw you around like Ragdoll. Ah, so if you hold it down, you can actually make them go all the way. Neat.
You're very fast, aren't you? So I do feel like there is an infinite possibility with electricity against big guys. Now that we annihilated them, I do believe I see what the game wants me to do. To get across the area. Platforming time! With very slippery seesaws. A little annoying there. Like, what even is the purpose of these things? Also hate that it, like, slightly takes over my camera controls there. I swear if the, the little guys, there's always one more than you expect. Why does this feel like a destroyed home? How's this where I get, like... I bet you can't ring that bell. <laughs> Why would I want to? Because you were reaching for it? <laughs> Is this where I get, like, uh, grass powers? Oh, the big special dragon is scared of the mean old bell. Oh, I didn't know that. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Why don't I get your pillow? You lay down. Well, that's not at all how bells work. Congratulations, Sparks. You killed him. Forget about those cracks I made about your fatness and your being purple and stupid and fat. All right? Just get out of there, please, Spyro. Don't be dead. He's not dead. He's angry. It is the incredible Spyro Hulk. What was that? Did, Did we... you say something? <laughs> no, no, it didn't say anything. No, I was talking out loud, thinking of my day I gotta do. Well, just thought I heard something before I blasted my way out. No, oh, that's funny. Yeah, no. Must be hearing things. Must be the bell. <laughs> <laughs> you have learned the earth shot breath. Interesting. Earth shot, specifically. You can upgrade it to further level up screen. Well, okay. Earth, huh? Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. Fire, electricity, ice, earth. Spyro is an earth bender. A oh, wait. We also need to read. Earth shot of the trembling cliffs. A thundering blast of earth sends enemies tumbling backwards. So it seems less like earth and more like seismic waves, at least the first level. How it's described. I've yet to use it. Earth shot of the quaking valleys. This double sonic boom is powerful enough to rock the mighty. Sure, why not? We have all the experience in the world. And then Yang Drithis. Hey, excuse me. Uh, how dare you, brain? It was like, ah, you're gonna sneeze, and then I didn't. I like prepared it entirely. <laughs> Yang Drithis's shattering earth shot. Become a walking earthquake and blast your enemies into tomorrow. Actually looks like I have enough to fully upgrade this, it seems. Oh, it's gonna be an almost. It's gonna be an almost, how dare you. It's gonna be the closest almost. Oh, we actually got it. Ha ha! Get shotgunned! Ha <laughs> ha! Boom, 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 boom. Oh, it drains me, but it's so cool. But it seems like doing one is a lot. Boom! Sonic boom! 
Sonic Boom! That's actually super cool. Oh, so now it moves. Because <laughs> it moved, like, not at all in the cutscene. Oh, but th this is actually pretty cool. <laughs> it's less, like, Earth and more just, like, a Fusroda. Fusroda! Fusroda! Oh, he's a bastard. Okay, he I guess he was still in his breaking out of my cage and feeling just fine animation. Okay, cool that that actually has like setup to it. Quit throwing dynamite. Oh, that's why. He was like... And also quit spamming that. How dare you. Alright, that... That's kind of a rude game to have so many just like, Oh, this does damage. And I guess there's like a very, very, very low amount of invincibility frames. It's okay. we can try why spawn again. me here, game? That's just very rude. Also, again, hate that it takes away my camera control. During a platforming segment. Oh, at least it... I mean, because I forgot about those crystals. I wonder if I can actually get them. I can. They're mine. Interesting that there's actually these little platforms. That were like... <laughs> never really encouraged to go there. But how dare those enemies have super attacks that hit me multiple times. That's my job. Man, they're just wasting a lot of metal, it feels like. Come on, you worthless waste of flesh. Let's go. We gotta hop on steam and get back to that flea bitten dragon. The crystal should be almost ready, and the volcano's right on the brink. Why even keep Torador here? If, the, if it was going to explode. Or maybe that's the point. It's just like, ah, oh, it's self-cleaning. We can get the gym, and then it explodes and kills him. The volcano, at least. Oh, but he just killed himself. All right, things are just exploding. That guy just fell to his death, apparently, for no reason. I wonder if this will be a timed thing, like, uh, hitting this. Or if it'll just be, hey, good for you. But Earth Dragon Fusro Da Breath might take over for the <laughs> knock enemies off platform power. But yeah, you just know that if this was like in a hero's tale or enter the dragonfly, it would have been a, a timed thing. How dare. I'm stuck. How dare. At least he had a very small amount of time to try and kill me. Block that, idiot. I'm looking at you fiercely. I hate that he can do that multiple times. Stop it! Quit spamming like a bitch, game! I'm the only one that's allowed to spam like a bitch, because I am the player character. The reason that enemies don't get to do it is because it's unfun. How dare you! Oh, 
Also, not my fault that you g give these guys lots of health, so I have to find ways to, like, stun lock them. Oh, is this gonna be a cart rail segment? Uh, oh, no! Nice. Have trouble with the rails, Spyro? Oh, it has a cool design, at least. It's like a tricycle of doom. Ah. Okay, I think I might get it. I, I cannot see shit! I see nothing! Everything is fear and pain! Everything is on fire, I'm taking damage. Oh, uh, and the camera's just walking the fuck out, man! Oh, and I'm out of power now. Oh, no. Maybe I need to get in front of him now. But Spyro just looking intensely as he drives his little tricycle is amazing. Okay, because now I think I need to ram him to get some crystals. How am I supposed to react to that game? To dodge it. I cannot dodge your fucking stupid diddly D. I have major complaints with the, like, damage system. Hello game, I just spawned in, how dare. I wish there was a bit more warning of the... Like, uh... Dynamite. Especially because I can't see shit. So really, the only thing you can do against the dynamite guys... Ah, dang it. Ran out again. We have to kill Caboose from Red vs. Blue. Alright. The camera, it hurts so much! Oh, oh, the feedback! Oh, that's unfair! I can't even react to that! Destroy the Dynamite Man! Destroy them all! I don't know the secrets to fighting him. I just know spam. I do like that you kind of get incentivized for hitting them. Oh, but I fear the dynamite man. Oh, I can't see anything. So, like, am I supposed to, like, destroy the pillars, I think? Oh, I actually... Oh, okay. And I ran out of fireballs, so that's bad. This is a very cool set piece, just... I cannot see anything most of the time. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> now, where's the other guy gonna come out? Because we didn't kill him, he's still alive! <laughs> From Twitch chat, someone is playing this? Hello? Yes. I'm doing a Spyrothon. I suffered through Enter the Dragonfly, kinda suffered through a hero's tale, and I've been really enjoying this. So far, it's only been minor little annoyances here or there, overall. Oh, hey! I could just yeet you off the cliff. Be gone. Bye-bye. Ha-ha! Electricity! 
die! Goodbye. <laughs> Why fight enemies when I can just <laughs> yeet them off a cliff? Through the power of electricity! Oh, you guys, you can fly. Well, you won't be able to in a second. I'm going to paralyze your wings to yeet you off a cliff. I love that that's just a designed thing. And, like, considering that it's a thing they teach you, pick them up and throw them into objects, I love that they just design levels for you to do that. Off the cliff of you. Off the cliff with you. Ha ha ha! Who needs the beat em up technology? I have gravity! But I do like the, like, unique, like, enemy designs here. These magma worms, the buffalo. Even though they're not really worms. The buffalo beetle be gone. Now, what should we level up next? I guess we'll just level up the fireball, because I'm not sure. I'm not sure how useful ice shards would be. It seems very spray and pray. Although it can pierce through the toughest of armor, so... Hmm. Maybe at least a few levels into this. We'll get to level two ice shards, then we'll level up the fireball. Do it ultimately. Oh, gives it range? Then that's very good. That was my main complaint against the ice shards from the tutorial. Or like the ice tutorial. Uh, you're gonna come show up. You're like, ah, I'm a dreadwing. I exist. Uh, yeah, so does gravity, bitch. Gravity. I don't need to learn to fight you. I learned how to kill through gravity. I just really like the vibes of this game, man. Very nice. Now, before we head in, see if we can. It's going to be very close. Pixels. Be gone. <laughs> be gone. I love just throwing guys into the lava. Spyro, the very normal dragon, likes throwing his enemies off cliffs. Not the dynamite. I really dislike the dynamite guys. They're a little too fanatical of their dynamite. What the hell hit me? <laughs> I don't even know what hit me. Maybe I should have used some projectiles. Because blowing them up with the, the fireball probably would have sent them flying. Which would have killed them anyway. Oh hey, did this come down to act as like a checkpoint? Or what? I think it did! That's kind of cool! I jumped too early. Man, these things just come out really quick. I wonder if there's like a pattern of like very fast, very fast, uh, bigger, like uh, a bigger opening. Yeah, I totally should have done that from the beginning. Just utterly annihilates them. Just a little bit hard to aim sometimes. Potentially. Laugh at your own demise, fool. Well, I guess they stopped coming the moment I got near. Ah, hell. It's the lava bugs. The, the, the fire beetles are here to kill me. They are, they are unhappy with my presence. Unfortunately, they are slightly like health packs, so I must kill them. Uh, 
Let me guess. Uh, wait, 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 we're on your side. How, how have you been dodging all the things? For the conductor, for the flying beast, Cinder. Oh, Moliere sent us. My, my brother is alive. Oh. He sure is, pal. He's all safe and sound. That's interesting. He knew you were alive, but he you didn't know he was. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. In these dark times, one can't take chances. So, Moliere is alive. Oh, wonderful news. <laughs> Why did he send you here? Murder. Well, he, he said you might be able to tell us where our friend Terador is. If he's a big dragon, I certainly can. The majority of the Manwir's spoils are kept here in this camp. Forced to live above ground and mine for treasure. And there are rumors that your dragon friend is being kept somewhere inside. In the darkest pits of the volcano. All of us. <laughs> Yeesh. Also, nice voice acting on this guy. Yeah, what do you mean? I mean, we're going to free the man we're smalls, venture to the darkest pits of Boys at Big, and find Terador. Then, it's off to karaoke. <laughs> that face. <laughs> then, it's off to karaoke. Let's do it. We will bomb them <laughs> alive. Through the power of bombs, we will free them. And I'll just throw the big guy into lava. Through the power of war crimes, we will save the day. Apparently, X Humor is voiced by either Cyril's or Voltaire's voice actor. Very interesting. Then again, if you have, like, an all-star cast of, like, voice actors, why not get them to voice multiple characters? Man, these guys are just slippery. I could have been destroying those things of people this entire time? I'm a fool. I wonder if I can just run into it and break it. We shall destroy all industry! Hmm. Maybe I'm missing something. I have to destroy everything, maybe. Down with industry! Free them all, people! Do I have to do any things if these, like... Oh, this is where they're being kept. I thought they were being kept in the big thing that I blew up. It's almost more terror. I didn't realize their poor reaching hands. <laughs> they're like, oh, dear God, free us. <laughs> oh, savior dragon. We are in tiny cramped cages. Jesus. Kids found each other. Now they can live out their lives of happiness. We're just disappointed you didn't leave any fun for us. Maybe next time. <laughs> next time you guys get enslaved. That way, but be careful. The conductor and his maniacal locomotive will surely be close by. When you say be careful, does that mean try not to die? I'm trying to do that anyway. Come, Max Humor. We must get all the man with smells underground where they belong. Especially before it explodes, the volcano. Yeah, this is everything I wanted the last level to be. Actually, have it be entirely about helping the locals escape. Especially because the last one was like, oh, you could be like a, a legend to us. You're a part of our tribe. It's like, we've only met one of you and uh, hardly did anything else besides. So it's like... Kind of nice to actually be a part of, like, actually have the locals of this enslaved area pay a, play a role in the level. And not just have it be one slightly angry llama man who's like, Huh, you'll never make it. Huh, I hate you. You should stay out of our affairs. Oh, well, you're basically a god now. <laughs> Ah, 
I'm going to lightning you off the ledge. Ledge. Through the power of electricity, you will fly to your death. Still my favorite mechanic. Oh, it's almost like he jumped off his falling buffalo beetle onto a flying dreadwing. It's not going to help him. Anybody else want to come rumble? I feel sorry for the people that, like, never discovered the wonders of yeeting enemies off cliffs. Because that's so good. Granted, if I had played this without stream chat, I probably would have completely failed to learn that wonderful hint. Into the lava already. Wish I could destroy you. Like all the other industry of this place. Then again, the volcano is probably going to do that. Man, I'm really just loving this game. It's just very fun. Very simple. Kind of shenanigans a few times with some deaths. But... Otherwise, just... Perfectly fine. Some enemies like the... Multi-hit bigmans are... Little evil. But ultimately... Oh, there was more crystals that I was missing? Well, we need to completely scour this place and get all the gems so we can power level and become a god! <laughs> that makes me unbelievably happy. You have no idea. Yeah, I, I like giving games a fair shake. I will, like, uh, still be honest with my opinions. Because, like... I am very saddened that I didn't like A Hero's Tale. It was mostly because it had a good base, and then they just overcomplicated everything that came after. The base gameplay of everything, very fine. And then just like, a little too caught up in making things difficult. Boss battles kind of lingered. Both of Red's boss battles were very annoying. But so far, this has been simple but fun. And so far, my only major complaint, aside from, like, maybe some enemies are a little too hitty. But, at the very least, the infinite lives are being treated a lot better than A Hero's Tale. With A Hero's Tale, the infinite lives felt like an excuse for bad design. Here, the infinite lives just feel like a thing they wanted to do. And then it's like, my failures bring me back to the, <laughs> the infinite lives. But yeah, so far, my only major complaint is I wish there was more story. Like, a bit more story with the... I forget what they're called. The Atawas? On the floating islands? We get to know them a bit more. Maybe have Spyro find their refugee camp and actually earn his legend status. Have a bit more before finding Ignid uh, Ignitus. Again, I'll need to play, like, more of the trilogy before I can properly, like, uh, give my thoughts, but I do have some thoughts. You are very fast for a scorpion man. Oh, do you have, like, throwables too? That's evil. Hmm, I need to gather them. I think I'm going to have to use my ultimate kill ability. Unless they don't want to gather up. Which is a little weird. Maybe I can throw you into the wall. There we go. And now you want to follow me. How dare. Here we go. All of you will die now. We 
go. <laughs> a hero's tail was just a difficulty spike. Eh, it doesn't really feel like difficulty spike. It just felt like bad design difficulty spike. Eternal Night is harder, the second Legend of Spyro game. Harder than this. That'll be interesting. <laughs> See if I can learn from this game. See what they change. Yeah, so far I've yet to find it like super difficulty. Well, like that's not a word. That's not a sentence. I've yet to find it like super duper difficult. Just some segments that I have a hard time learning and then I die once and then it seems to go pretty good after that. <laughs> Takes me a moment to get my bearings against some enemies, and then I get to go and murder them. Either because their health didn't regenerate, or I have the perfect opportunity to kill them. <laughs> it has the Dark Souls of Spyro name tag from the community Eternal Night. Wow. Well, I do like me some Dark Souls. Is Dawn of the Dragon even harder than both the other two games? And then, eh, Eternal Knight is harder than Dawn in my opinion. Hmm. Interesting. Also interesting is that this thing... Has... I don't even know if the... What the f With sparks there, it made it look like it had a face. <laughs> now I forget which way I came. I shall annihilate you, too. I guess this is actually a thing I need to do. Oh, boop. Annihilate the fire beetles. So they may never exist again. Oh, darn you. Your projectiles annoy me, magma worm. So I shall combo you through the air instead. Through the power of slow-mo. And knocking your who you about. Die in the lava. You are obsessed with being a projectile man, aren't you? I guess my only other complaint is maybe the camera. The camera seems a little finicky to move sometimes. <laughs> but I've beaten Dawn more times than I can count. <laughs> Oh, that'll be fun to get to. Because, again, I do think that this is kind of what Spyro needed after two games where they were desperately clawing at being like, oh, we must reach the same heights as Insomniac with just not a good base for it. I feel like this is exactly what Spyro needed. A new direction. And so far, I think they've pulled it off pretty well. Get thrown onto the tracks. Onto the tracks of you. Fly away. Away with you. It was. It was reboot or die for Spyro. If this didn't happen, the IP would be dead. Which makes are kind of sad because it feels like even though the Reignited Trilogy seemed to do well, we've yet to see anything else from Spyro except like some cameos and stuff. Slightly disappointing. Like, if Spyro was a super IP, I would have wished that we got, like, more Legend of Spyro stuff and classic Spyro stuff. Games for both. Although, after playing uh, Enter the Dragonfly and Hero's Tale, 
I am slightly worried of any attempt to try and make a, like, classical Spyro sequel. Like how Crash Bandicoot About Time is the new uh, Crash Bandicoot 4. I don't think that there should be a, like, Spyro 4, but for the modern age, because... Clawing at the success of Insomniac, I just, I don't think would work. Because I honestly wouldn't mind more beat-em-up Legend of Spyro type games. Especially because they focus a bit more on story, which is what I felt that A Hero's Tale should have done. I felt like A Hero's Tale should have been more story focused. And then it could have possibly been slightly better. Spyro is in development as far as we know. Hopefully whatever Spyro game comes uh, next, whether it be like a, a collect-a-thon 3D game, or a, maybe a return to Legend of Spyro. Maybe a Legend of Spyro remake trilogy collection would be cool. I'm guessing that's Terador. Careful. It's never this easy. After the last two times, you're not going to get an argument from me. Chief. Like, honestly? Oh, I, I think it would be super cool if there was, like, a Legend of Spyro remake that expanded on the story a bit more. Fixed the pacing a bit, because that's my only complaint. Story's good, just I want more of it. I wonder if ice would do good against you to, like, slow you down. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I'm a fool! Ah, it still hit him. Uh, that's, an, that's something, at least. Nah, fire does more damage, it seems. My fireballs keep hitting inopportune places to damage him. Oh, but now he's going to come down the middle. All right. I guess the proper way to do it is to wait for him to crash and then take advantage of that. The Legend series, as good as it is, won't get a remake. There isn't enough popularity for it, unfortunately, which is sad. More people liked A Hero's Tale than this. Really? Heathens, the lot of them. Hero's Tale had good ideas, but it's little, like, it, in some ways, it's barely more than Enter the Dragonfly 2, to some degree. There's a lot of issues with a hero's tale. Good ideas, but like, ah, eh, just like Legend of Spyro is cooler. It's its own thing rather than a grasping straw, grasping the straws of ooh. Another insomniac like. Jesus Christ, will you crash already? On oh, his weak point was not away for so long. Oh, that's so mean. Darn. <laughs> the arena is what's killing me more than anything.
I, mean, I can see why some people would enjoy like a hero's tale, but to like it more than than Legend of Spiral, it's like I find this cool. Is it just because it's not a collectathon, or is it because er, it's not as bubbly and bright as the past games? It's not even dark and edgy. It's just not as bright and colorful as past Spyro games. It's the exhaust flames that are annoying. I understand why they exist to deter, like, blasting him from the side. But there's just not enough time to actually deal damage to him when you're trying to dodge taking damage. Or maybe this is the phase where you're not supposed to go for his weak point and instead bomb him. Darn it, that's me. But yeah, I vastly prefer this compared to, like, a hero's tale. Oh, eh. My camera just freaked out. Please die. You are a cool boss fight, but uh, slightly bothering. Are you going to explode in front of Torador and <laughs> save him that way? We have saved the Turquoise Earth Dragon. Look at the boy. I think this is the first time we've seen Spyro in cutscene mode. My name is Spyro, and you must be Terador. Yes, yes I am. And I must say, I never thought I'd live to meet you, Spyro. Fuck, I'd love to sit here and hug everybody and chit-chat, but how about we leave before the volcano blows us up? You're right. I've got to tell the others what Cinder is up to. Let's go. Right behind you. Actually, I'm right in front of you. Well, I thought we already knew what she was doing. She was gap. Oh! She was here the entire time? In the volcano? Run! Look, when the guy says run, I think he knows something. Yeah, probably not a good time. Never mind, she just took the crystal. Why, you didn't grab it before? Oh well. <laughs> oh, just bitch slapped him with it. Would be kind of dark if the mentor actually came to. <laughs> if we rescued him only for him to die. Go, Spyro! Fly like you've never flown before! I'll go back to the temple for help! A nice cutscene! I think it's mostly the voice and design of Spyro, I think. I think the, the design is nice. It's different, and I can definitely see it being jarring, but the voice is perfectly fine. It's Elijah Wood. So anybody complaining about the voice is just like, I don't know. Weird. If anything, it seems like a bit closer to how, like, Spyro's original voice was. But if a bit more subdued. Like Spyro 1 voice. Just less rebellious teen spirit and more Elijah Wood. Yeah, I could see the, like, design being a little off-putting compared to what came before, but it's not bad. Just different. <laughs> Combat base changed the formula, different VAs, a lot of things. To be fair, they already changed the VAs for Dragon's, uh, or, uh, A Hero's Tale anyway. Because after Enter the Dragonfly, all of the VAs that came back said, Yeah, no.
But I mean, in a way, later Spyro games kind of became combat-based as well. With, like, the lowering importance of the gems and the overall collect-a-thawning. Mostly being boiled down to just the main collectibles more than anything. I do like the colors of this area. What the fuck? <laughs> Something was coming up behind me and that was scary. She is going hard. Oh, hey, Ignitus. And that is how Ignitus died. <laughs> He's like, nope, you're not ready. Help Ignitus. <laughs> you can't fight him. Come on, Spyro, there's nothing we can do. I don't care. Ignitus wouldn't leave me. Spyro is right. I'm right? Oh my god, that's a first. Yes. You'd never find them in this mess. And you're not ready to face Cinder yet. The time to fight will come, but it is not. Now. Like again, the models are this are super good. A little plasticky sometimes, but very nice still. But yeah, anybody that says like ah, oh, these games are bad because they changed the formula is just like th the past two games. Enter the Dragonfly and Hero's Tale kind of sucked because of the formula. Like, literally, the reason that Enter the Dragonfly failed was because they were told to stick too close to Spyro 3. <laughs> I'll continue ranting after the cutscene. Scared the crud out of you? Yeah, something like that. All warriors feel fear at one time or another, Spyro. There's no shame in that. Yes, it's a proven scientific fact. I do like that Torador looks so much different compared to the others. I was going to say is that all warriors feel fear, Spyro, but only the most valiant among us can face that fear and master it. From what I saw of you on Munitions Forge, you are one such warrior. I wonder what the ranged attack Young for Earthshaking will be. Complete your training. Now is the time to face your fear. Is it really facing my fear if it's just no. learning how to fight with sonic booms? And the yearly releases window, putting a huge crunch on the dev team. True. I think the Earth Secondary is actually pretty decent. It has great range when upgraded. Hmm. But yeah. Like, the main reason why Enter the Dragonfly failed was a lot of... Was super crunch and... Bah, bah, bah. As well as executive meddling telling them, no, don't do cool ideas... Stick like it's basically an expansion to Spyro 3. And then it just all spiraled into hell. A Hero's Tale was much better compared to Enter the Dragonfly. But again, it just felt like a bit more... Like a, a slight evolution on the Insomniac games. A slight evolution, but then their own personal failings, boss fights being kind of spongy... And long and tedious, the infinite lives feeling more like an excuse for bad design. Level design kind of falling apart in like the mini games at times. It's just like, uh... like honestly, it felt like if they condensed the game a bit and lessened the oh we have to have difficulty philosophy, it would have been a lot better. But this honestly, so far, has been perfectly good. It has been very good. Like, th there have been moments of, ah, oh, that's annoying, but then they pass quickly. I just feel like it's a really cool direction for Spyro to take. Then again, I'm also the type of person where I don't follow purely for gameplay. I like, ooh, I like Spyro the Dragon. So Spyro the Dragon doing a new cool thing? Ah, that's cool. 
I like that. Like, I don't care that it's not a collectathon. I just like that it's Spyro doing a cool thing. Cheese now in Earth flavor. So let's see what the Earth power has to offer, aside from being basically a shotgun. Huh, to shoot the attacking dummies with your Earth shot. Is very cool, but also uh, when I actually have to worry about my ammo, is kind of costly. Come over here. Chase after the dummies. So, yeah, basically same thing we've done before. Chase them down. Use the power to kill. I feel like they've, uh, they spawned more this time. Oh, hey, they all decided to come and die to me. I thought I was going to fail that one because they were... Uh, if those two just ran the opposite direction instead of toward me... Oh. Oh, no, okay. From, uh, I don't know why we came to the ultimate spawn point for uh, throwing earth bombs. Interesting. It kind of acts like a bomb and then captures them in the air for a while. That's actually kind of cool. Maybe upgrade it, it'll be super good. Press to throw the earth bomb at the fleeing dummies and Ariel defeat them when they are caught. It's very cool. Yeah. Suffer death. None, that one health bar just stuck in the corner for a while, so I was like, hmm, I wonder if that's gonna come back to bite me. And now, we gather up for the ultimate power. It's very interesting, much better than Bubbles in the past. Although this is highly, very much not what the actual gameplay experience will be like just blasting away with shotgun magic. Total actual gameplay of what you will use it like. Then again, if there was like a infinite breath power cheat code, that would actually be kind of cool. A little broken, but kind of cool. The fact that it just sends them flying is hilarious. There is an infinite <laughs> breath power cheat code. That is amazing. And that is what cheat codes are for. Cool little things like that. And infinite health. Well, infinite health is kind of a given. If, you, if there's infinite one thing, you'd think that there would be <laughs> infinite health as well. The power of the Earth comes to bomb you to death and just annihilate them. Good job. Now, final confrontation awaits. Are we going to go fight Cinder already?
feels fast. Like, again, I almost wish that there was, like, a, a chance that these would get remade and, like, expanded. I think that would be cool. But then there, uh, but then that would also run into the problem of people, like, wanting to see the exact original game remade, similar to the Re Reignited trilogy, but for Legend of Spyro. But me, I would, wouldn't mind if they just, like, refined it, expanded the story, ex gave, like, expanded scenes to smooth out the story pacing. But then that's just me. I like story. Oh yeah, I just right. Oh yeah, she needs Ignitus's crystal to open the portal too. Why'd he go? Where she lives in solitude among the clouds and the towers. I am certain that's where she's taken Ignitus. Or was it like a gambit by Ignitus, where he wants her to open the portal so Spyro can defeat her at her best? I fear my fighting days are over. Every generation must pass the torch to the next. Every generation, even if this generation is one dragon. Yes, it is Spyro's time to shine. As the singular dragon of this generation. Yes, sir. Wow, you guys make even me want to face Cinder. Did I say that out loud? There's a very small chance to see an HD port, but that's very small chance. Which seems a little silly, because... From everything I've seen... Like... Legend of Spyro has very dedicated fans. And I feel like if you re-released it all these years later... Well, I'll continue talking after cutscene. Neat design. Very ominous. Next time I say that I want to face Cinder, why don't you go ahead and punch me in the mouth? No problem. <laughs> no problem. Well, that's a neat design for the enemies. But yeah. Like... The Legend of Spyro has such dedicated fans, it seems like. Because until the Reignited trilogy, the only Spyro fan art that I remember seeing... Typically was either just Spyro, but n without the flavor of any of the games, or specifically, including Cinder. <laughs> Meanwhile, I have not seen, like, any fan art of Ember, any fan art of Flame, any fan art of, like, the Ursula character, or of Red... And there's, like, nothing new to make fan art of for Enter the Dragonfly, and I don't think anybody would want to. And I just think that if they re-release, at the, like, at the very least, re-released uh, Legend of Spyro as a trilogy, like, it would give fans who were spiteful little bitches of, like, Mage, Mage, not of Collectathon. Blah. And was just, like, weird little, it's different, so it's bad opinions. And, like, if they re-released it now, there would be a chance to, like, have people reevaluate it. So, like, to fish for more opinions. Because, like, again, I feel like if they re-released it, a lot of people would go, Oh, hey, this is actually neat as its own thing. It didn't need to be collect-a-thon exactly like Insomniac, considering that is literally what annihilated the past two Spyro games. The want to recapture what Insomniac did is the reason why Enter the Dragonfly sucks. As well as a little bit of why... Drag a uh, uh, hero's tale kind of fails a little bit, but it has it's a lot of its own unique quibbles going on there. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people make fan of Spyro and Cinder, mostly probably because Cinder actually has a personality, probably, and exists compared to Ember. <laughs> the Spyro and Cinder stuff is a lot for a reason. Like, it it makes me kind of split because if they do make a Spyro four, they'll probably be. Like, uh, they'll probably be enticed to include Cinder in a Spyro 4. 
which I guess wouldn't be bad if it continued off of the Reignited trilogy, so it's kind of like the Reignited trilogy version of, of Cinder, but really really does make me wish that they would give some love to the legend of spiral cuz like i've only i am only almost done with this first one and i'm already really loving it i'm loving the vibes i'm liking the characters i'm liking the ideas and like again there's a, there's a lot you could do with this and it does seem like the only thing that people really had issue like i don't think i'm going to hmm but eh. Well, I might as well upgrade it. Earth Bomb of the Wandering Whirlwind. But, like, it does feel like the only reason fans didn't like A Legend of Spyro is because it wasn't another Insomniac clone. Which is very disappointing. Again, it's just hilarious that fans would complain, ah, it's not like the other Spyro games, when that is the trap that all of the non-Insomniac games fell into. They were trying to be Insomniac when they weren't. And plus also Universal was probably a hellish crunch nightmare. Wait, I'm vastly preferring this over any of the other Insomniac clones. And I'm partly, like, fearful that if they did try to make a Spyro 4 in the style of the Reignited trilogy, that we'd just run into Enter the Dragonfly or Hero's Tale again, where they didn't learn their lessons. That is my main fear. Then again, I guess it kind of worked for Crash Bandicoot. Uh, it's about time. But even then, people had uh, some gripes about 100%ing. It's about time. Your laughing is not alive. <laughs> dance, dance. <laughs> Or Dance Dash. The same team that did reignited Toys for Bob, I have hope. Mm. Definitely have hope. I think... Oh, uh, oh. What the hell? What the hell was that? <laughs> Stop that. Oh. Okay. Do not like the design of that. Just hard, kind of hard to see electricity going across the ground. It's kind of annoying. But yeah, hopefully Toys for Bob, if they are making uh, the next Spyro game, they do good. Oh, interesting. They... Leech out my my breath power, it seems. Very interesting. But yeah, I just hope that Legend of Spyro gets some love at some point because it seems to be like a good cult classic type part of the franchise that has a lot of the cooler aspects that fans have latched onto. And again, the only reason why the game part kind of failed was due to bias against it not being what they expected of a Spyro. But this is like really nice, really interesting. If a bit simple here or there, it's just nice. But I definitely... It definitely feels like the only reason Legend of Spyro failed, at least so far, maybe... Maybe... Well, then again, 
Twitch chat uh, just a little bit ago said they completed Dawn of the Dragon more times than they can count, so I assume Dawn of the Dragon is actually really good. So then it really does feel like the Legend of Spyro series only didn't really super take off because old school fans were like, meh, not my Spyro. For no other reason than it just wasn't a collectathon, had <laughs> importance on story. Well, this is dramatic music for not even a boss fight. It's just a mob rush. We must kill the blood dive. They're sending a lot of minions after me. Doom Comet? That's a neat name. Get blasted. It's a little hard to aim the shotgun blast. The boom burst shotgun blast. I think so far, like, uh, in this moment, my... A, a small gripe I have is maybe the camera could be pulled out a little bit so I could see enemies that are behind me. Since these guys really like to get behind me. And they have nice recovery against me. So you have to be on the move a lot or else these guys will just really come get you. Cat Voyager. Weird name. Now the real question is like, why did they even bother to airdrop these guys in? The other ones just were appearing out of nowhere. <laughs> Yeesh. They are just on me. Stop it! <laughs> it is kind of nice as a get off me tool. You kind of blast it around a bit, it sends enemies flying. Well, that's kind of mean. I was trying to get away from enemies. It is a nice get off me tool. I like it. Boom. Get blasted. <laughs> Long fail. Alright, now that I'm getting kind of into the groove of it, kind of getting into the groove. Just need to, like, knock him around, smack. Knock him around, smack. Now I wonder if they'll ever bring, like, Skylanders stuff into any potential Spyro sequels, considering that the first Skylanders game was kind of meant to be a, a Spyro game. Or at least he had head billing there. <laughs> I know nothing of Skylanders, so I can't give an opinion one way or another. <laughs>
And uh, Don has collection items, several. I won't spoil for Neon, but yes, ooh, interesting. So it'll be interesting to see what they have. Actually, that would be kind of cool if they made like a combo Spyro 4 that had like more advanced combat options similar to like Legend of Spyro. But, okay, game, that was mean to like combo me between the beams. Bastard. But it would be interesting if there was like more advanced like combat, but like a bit more collecting, like a mainline series of collectibles you have to find in levels, but it had more emphasis on combat. I think that might be a cool like middle ground to potentially do. I think it's a nice possibility. Because I just don't think that doing a straight up just normal Insomniac Spyro that's brand new would be a good idea unless it was really well done. <laughs> So I think, like, some kind of try some things new, but do things some, like, reminiscent. Find a middle ground. I think that'd be cool. Because <laughs> it's just that inner the dragonfly and a hero's tale have put the fear of, hey, let's do what Insomniac did in my heart. Doesn't feel like a good idea anymore. <laughs> Goodbye, Weaselton. You die. Are you gonna send out another Weaselton? <laughs> so it's basically a, a platform, a series of <laughs> enemy platforms to murder. We found another dance dash. He must die immediately. Quit hitting me while I'm trying to hit you in the corner. The corner is where I murder you, not me. And again, this entire time, I probably could have been throwing them off the ledge. I could have been doing that this entire time. Almost there. Oh, in fact, cool. This is a cool design for a platform. I thought it was like just floaty float, but no, it's a cool pillar. <laughs> Skylander Spyro was terrible. Oh, yeah, the Spyro from Skylanders was too gremlin. But I don't know anything about, like, the world or, like, if the, the world, the lore, the story, the characters, the gameplay or anything. I know nothing. Although I think it, like, took a while for... What the hell are you? I have no idea how to fight this. It's called a conduit. I don't like. You know what? I don't like you so much. I'm going to go ahead and use my uh, instant kill move. <laughs> this is not the time to introduce a new enemy type when I have to worry about little mini minions. from YouTube chat. Hello, Neon. Hello, hello. I'm very much enjoying my time here in Legend of Spyro.
But I wonder what things la that a theoretical Spyro 4 made for the modern day, what they would take from past games. Like, I feel like some things from Enter the Dragonfly and A Hero's Tale would be nice to include. Like, maybe include Flame and Ember as characters as funny aha, uh -huh. wink wink, nudge nudge, remember these guys? They existed once and then never again. Maybe some references to, like, the, the hyena chick from A Hero's Tale and the Ice Princess, because those were good designs. I guess I'll annihilate these guys. And then I'll jump off to gather up the crystals. But one cool thing, if they ever, even if it is a very, very highly impossible thing to happen, if they ever did do a Legend of Spyro remake trilogy, it would be cool if they got Elijah Wood back, at the very least. You could probably get different voice actor for Sparks, because, I mean, f from what I hear, they had different voice actor for Sparks already in the trilogy. But, it would be neat. I think. I just think it would be neat. <laughs> yes, a lot. Sparks had three. <laughs> One per game. I wonder if that was... I wonder if things just happened with those voice actors, or if they just thought it would be funny. Like, did they intentionally do that? Like, hey, once a game, we'll have Sparks have a new voice for some reason. Or if it, or if it was just like, they didn't want to come back. That's just kind of funny. Oh, I can throw them around. So, uh, instant death for you. David Spade cost a lot, apparently. Yeah, considering that he... He seems to be here just as celebrity voice and not for his actual acting talent. Yeah, if he was like, I want lots of money. I could see it being the, the best thing to cut. At least Elijah Woods, like, sounds kind of like... Like, even though it is kind of, in a way, Elijah Wood being Elijah Wood... It still has- it's still a nice voice that fits Spyro. With Sparks, it's like, I don't know. <laughs> because it's just David Spade, sounding like David Spade. <laughs> Damn, Neon really forgot about the electric secondary, it doesn't have a single upgrade. Yeah, because I didn't really- didn't really like how it played out in the tutorial. Because, uh, it just felt like it was bouncing around a lot and very hard to control. Yeah, I just feel like there's a lot you can do with Spyro in general. And I just really hope that Legend of Spyro isn't forgotten because it's super cool so far. And like any perceived criticism I can divine from hardcore Spyro fans basically can only boil down to it's not like the Insomniac Trilogy. And again, just hilarious because a lot of the major problems with Enter the Dragonfly and Hero's Tale was them trying to be Insomniac. A 
Apparently they swapped David Spade for Billy West, and I don't... That name sounds familiar, but only very vaguely. And yeah, the electric secondary is just bad in general, you can't really control it. Uh... I think my camera got stuck behind... Okay, yeah. <laughs> my camera got stuck behind the... the door. I was wondering what was going on. Hi, <laughs> uh, Billy West is Fry from Futurama. Ah. He does voices in Futurama. Maybe he'll do a decent Sparks? It depends. At the very least, they get a, like, somebody who's kind of more of a voice actor than David Spade. Or at least I assume, because here it just feels like David Spade played David Spade. Or like, just did a David Spade voice and read a Sparks script. It is highly recognizably David Spade. Whereas, I think if you dropped, uh, like, Elijah Wood's voice into something, and I didn't know he was voicing it, I'm not sure if I'd be able to tell you, Oh, that's, uh, that's Elijah Wood. With David Spade, I would know exactly uh, the moment he started speaking. Uh... Lol. <laughs> Also, I gotta say, Cinder's design is really cool. <laughs> Dawn of the Dragon Sparks is by Wayne Brady? I think that might be the best one at all. I can't wait to hear that one. I like Wayne Brady. All right, upgraded uh, projectile is super cool. Yep, and you have Mark Hamill in that game too. That's super good. Mark Hamill is one of those people that like, started out as actor, actor, and then became a phenomenal voice actor. Come into the corner of death. From YouTube chat, I like this Spyro better than the original Spyro. I can feel that. Because this one feels like he has, like, a bit more going on. Like, a bit more, like, talking to people. Ever so slightly. The original Spyro mostly was just like, eh, attitude, I want to go beat him up, I'm kind of sarcastic. Really, it feels kind of like Spyro 1 Spyro is the one with the most personality out of all the uh, Insomniac games. I can't wait until you hear Cinder talk. Yeah, because she's only been... Look, the gate's power. Roaring. <laughs> like, sound effect roaring, not even voice actor doing a roar. So, then again, I think maybe she, there was actual voice actor, like, combat grunting. Uh, get out of the corner. I have a ledge to throw you off of. Off the ledge. Darn it, it didn't kill him. Okay, probably have to... Oh, maybe. I can do this! Ha 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 ha! Okay, against big people, big enemies, the Earth Projectile for Air Combo is great! <laughs> From Twitch chat, oh, she talks! Talks in all caps. I wonder what that's gonna mean. Is it gonna be a big ol' monologue? 
<laughs> well, hey, uh, I would prefer a monologue from Cinder than Red any day. At least she has an actual name. Like, even though they, like, reuse the same enemy models for the most part throughout this game, I do appreciate that they really, uh, customized each area's, like, type of main enemy. It just gives a lot of personality. Oh, there was another guy. I was too busy killing your boss. Die, Frost Panther. Ah, wrong one. Then again, I guess maybe snowballing a few little guys to open up possibility to kill their friends. Not terrible. Be gone, Moon Raven. You laugh at your friends dying, you sicko. Once again, Sailor Hunter, you will not be hunting any Sailor Moons. It's like I turn my back and they just appear. throw you guys into the, the air so I can just smack you some. Haha, <laughs> idiot. Get thrown into the air. <laughs> Neon, stop spawn camping them. They're the ones who are spawning on top of me. Get out of my home. Hey, Death Tracker, why don't you track the death of your friends? Because they're dying a lot. Oh, um. Yeah, definitely need to uh, annihilate you. God, I can just annihilate them in the air. I love it. And, like, I do enjoy that the... beat-em-up gameplay is actually, like... Sure, it's a little bit basic in theory, but... they do such cool things with it. They give you a lot of cool tools. They do the most cool things with the Bretts compared to any of the other games. Which, granted, those games are Enter the Dragonfly and Hero's Tale, but still. But I'm just adoring this. Then again, I'm also a story geek. I love it when there's an actual story and character like to deal with. Also, Brain just went so. Cinda took Ignitus <laughs> to his, uh, to her... Her castle, did she? Now I'm just imagining, like, a meme drawing of Ignitus chained up on a bed going, What are we going to do on the bed, Cinder? You better just be like, people out there that I don't have to fight. I don't want to fight you. <laughs> Doom rates. Oh, that's an adorable Spyro emote. <laughs> Looking that up right now, for research purposes. It exists, I'm sure, probably. The conduit scares me. Ah, what are we doing? I should do a... <laughs> should throw it up into the air. Alright, the, the, the air thing just utterly annihilated it. Into the air with you. These things scare me, because they're weird and wonky.
Into the air with you. And into the air with you. Quit bouncing around and die. Yeah, them being in the air itself deals damage to them. That's such a cool thing. And depending on where, how long in the... Uh, this is cool. I wonder what other cool, like, enemy interactions I might have missed because I haven't been using the breaths all that much. Into the air with you. Now I'm imagining that since they made the reignited, tri like, uh, reignited trilogy dragons into such dilfs, what would they do with the dragon guardians from this game? How much sexier would they be made if they got toys for bobbed? <laughs> oh lord, says Twitch chat. <laughs> Man, I just adore this game. Is that foreshadowing I hear? <laughs> I really like the design of this castle. And now my brain went... <laughs> a Spyro 4, in which Ember and Cinder are sisters. <laughs> I think that could be potentially amusing. I find it funny that they have to, like, contrive a million different ways for these little minions to spawn in. Other times, they just pop into existence. Speaking of Ember, we just killed Hope Ember. And Duskshine. Oh no, we killed Rule 63 Twilight Sparkle. Goodbye, Raven Killer. <laughs> well, yeah, I really do like that they just went, hey, we should just make a linear, adventurous. Spyro the Dragon game. And I do indeed enjoy that. Oh, you laugh at me, do you? What if I just bombed you to death? Ah, it seems very wasteful. We'll stop that. And now my brain just went, if they did, like... Sexify the dragon guardians in this game. How would Cinder turn out in her redesign? Conduit just being utterly annihilated. Come over here to the Tornado of Doom. Thank you for being dumb.
from Twitch chat, how do we tell him Neon Edition? I wonder what that's in reference to. Get annihilated. Get annihilated. I just really do like... ...how good this is. Hmm, is there any ledge for me to... Well, they have cannons, oh no. Why would you drop your allies onto an explosion? Poor guys go in slow-mo to death. <laughs> Goodbye, electro cannon. Just have that occupy you guys. So I come over here to get health. Actually, it's been a bit. Let's go to level up. You now have the fury of Kythus's wrath of nature. Interesting that that's like the only time it's ever done that for any upgrade. <laughs> Maybe it's just for the projectiles. You now have the fury of Ishlandir's final stand. It's just interesting considering that no other upgrade has done that. Also, is it, do my eyes spy like the, the aerial combo thing breaking through his guard? If so, hell yeah. Die, minion. Go rant about bananas in an Illumination movie. One thing that I do know about is that there was originally supposed to be a movie based off of Legend of Spyro. And then it languished in development hell. And then Universal went, we want to go in a different direction. And that became Skylanders. We were robbed! You summoned your ally into death. <laughs> I'll murder you in the corner. And apparently, like, the, like, uh, the overall, like, hey, we're gonna make a movie thing continued until 2010. So many opportunities for there have been a Spyro movie. At least we probably had it better than poor Crash Bandicoot. Because I think there was, like, one game or something where it was basically them seemingly reusing assets of a potentially scrapped Crash Bandicoot TV show. It was like, oh, we might as well get some use out of this. Or at least that's the vibe one of them gave off. <laughs> there was after Dawn of the Dragon, and it was Activision's choice. Mm. Oh, Activision, not Universal. It just <laughs> I'm so used to blaming Universal for everything bad that happens in Spyro. Let's go back in time to stop Skylanders from happening. And frankly, I've read the script Skylander was better, and that's saying something. Hmm. That's interesting. <laughs> Maybe it's a good thing that it just died. I think Scra uh, Crash shows up in the Skylanders series. Yep. I think in, like, the latest one, but I think it's been a while since there's been a Skylanders game. You know, I just realized something. 
Skylanders would suck if it was made today. Because Skylanders basically would be just like DLC out the ass. It would be like, hey, instead of buying a figure that you can use to play a game with, buy this DLC for this character, and that's it. I think Crash also shows up in the Skylanders TV show and uh, is not like any Crash any fan of Crash has ever seen. And is because he talks. Which is illegal. Crash is not allowed to talk. It was paid DLC in physical form, but at least you got a figure out of it. And sometimes they were pretty nice, maybe. In a way, they were amiibo before amiibo. And it irritated the absolute hell out of me. Understandable. Cinder shows up in the Skylander series, too. That's neat. Haha! <laughs> to the air with you. I wonder how they treated Cinder in Skylanders. Hell, I wonder how they treated Spyro in Skylanders. Considering that it was originally Spyro Skylanders. Like, he got top billing at first. And then they're like, oh, people enjoy Skylanders. We can just <laughs> take this billion away. And thus Spyro was robbed again. I should probably upgrade fully the Electro Breath too. I'm pretty sure from YouTube chat, I'm pretty sure Activision has given up on Skylanders. Huh. I see you're on your way to save Ignitus, indeed. And apparently also here, Cinder Talk, according to Twitch chat. Get super comboed, idiot. I like that Cinder's own defenses turn against her guards. <laughs> okay, cool that they actually get flattened if they fall to their death. I'm afraid to actually fight them out in the open. Spiral, he was good in the beginning, then became evil for a bit, then became good. Huh. That's interesting. Well, same formula. Spyro is the chosen one, Cinder is the darker one. Hmm. Get obliterated. Air combos for days. Get twirled around, idiot. It's like it's mugging him. Mugging him for his money. Blasted. And I don't even have to go fight you. You can just die of your own volition out there in no man's land. From YouTube chat, Cinder is a terrifying dragon as an adult in this game. Hmm. I mean, she did have basically internment gulag camps. She's already kind of terrifying. Seriously, how big is her compound of evil? It's like mini castle after mini castle after mini castle. <laughs> and from YouTube chat, but also kind of hot. But I mean, that's a given. <laughs> this is Spyro. Where for some reason, everything is hot. I didn't even realize that there was, like, cannons back there. I'm here to kill the big guy so we can't do any freaky shit. The only one allowed to do freaky shit is me. 
Oh, it's a Draugr, but in Electro Armor. At least that's what I kind of... That's the thing that I kind of think. That's the first thing that comes to mind. Well, sorry, I do have to go kill uh, the the cannons first, so they uh, don't do anything. But I'll have to see how uh, anything works against you. I doubt my breath... Uh, will you fly in... Oh, I thought for a moment you would actually fly in the air. So, kind of interesting to have, like, uh, Boss 2, or, yeah, actually, yeah, you're Voltier Boss. I don't have to use my ultimate attack against you. I can just shotgun blast you to death, Electro King. Shotgun, shotgun, shotgun. And you don't even have the annoying attack I hated. Then again, I also have, like, upgraded attacks, so that probably counts for something. Oh, never mind, you do have uh, the attack I hated. It just, you died before you got to use it properly. Get obliterated, idiot. Oh, you, that is the most pixel of all pixels to ever pixeled. Weird. Get off the platform. Uh, uh, do these hurt me? They don't. Interesting. Now I want this. There we go. Now this probably works on you. It's just the last time that I encountered uh, electricity on the floor. It, it, it basically instant killed me. Break all the crystal shards to allow the elevator to proceed. Oh, it did upgrade. Now it's Ickle Ma's almighty electrical stream. Uh, it's just interesting that only the breaths, or like the the projectiles, got big announcements of you now have, but the actual breaths they don't they don't get that for some reason. From YouTube chat, it feels like reaching the apex of the world. Kind of does. I'm just gonna throw everybody off this elevator. It's my elevator. Mine. Get off my elevator. This elevator belongs to me. Oh, I think it's because both need to be fully upgraded to show that. That would make sense. Especially because I uh, have not upgraded all of them. It is interesting that the pl the elevator platform destroys the tornado projectile. Come fight me down here, where I can actually use my utterly broken infinite combo of death. 
Let's go bowling with your friends. Darn, I don't think it hit. Die, Rift Worm. No one loves you. I think it's because the elevator platform moves in the game code and thus has different physics? Probably. So the F-bomb doesn't work on it properly. That's probably what it is. It's just amusing that all the enemies are like, we're gonna hide out on the platform that you can't combo us on. So I'm like, ah, fine. I'll combo you elsewhere. Ah, shit. Uh, luckily, it's, this seems to be maybe... Are you gonna jump at me? Or do I have to jump at you? Looks like I have to jump at you. And then I'll just throw you off. Off the platform. Or you could just slide along it eternally. One of, one of these days, you'll fall to your doom. And I think they're actually... Oh, never mind. I was hearing the tinkling of the crystals... The gems, and I'm like, hmm, I wonder if they're just going to be stuck down there. <laughs> I just run along. I throw them to their doom. I run along. I throw them to their doom. This is oddly cathartic. Ah, and, oh, ah, the other one opened. I heard the noise. It's like, oh, did these, uh, these become free? Come on, come meet your doom. Come on, come meet your doom. Spyro Doombringer. <laughs> We're having a doom sale here. <laughs> but the design of this place is super cool. I mean, sure, with all the spikes and dark and purple, I guess you could maybe say that it's kind of edgy, but I mean, this is the villain's lair. If it wasn't kind of edgy uh, for being a villain lair, I'd be a little disappointed. Fly, you fool. Fly, you fool. Fly, you fool. Electro Breath, throw him to his doom. <laughs> Principal Electric, take him to the principal's office and have him expelled from this life. <laughs> Steal from thieves no more. Two for one! Manipulating my camera around these walls is a little bothersome. I just love that that's a mechanic that they just built into the game. It feels nice. It honestly, though, it honestly makes me think that if this game was made by... Like, with the same philosophy as a hero's tale, they'd be like, no, we can't let the player one-shot an enemy by throwing them off a cliff. That would be too easy. Whereas this time they're like, hey, let's give them the ability to throw enemies off cliffs. That's a fun game mechanic. Let's reward creative thinking of using your environments to kill enemies. Also, this is a really cool thing. Like, the elevator keeps going up and up. There's multiple things stopping you from coming up. It does feel like an elevator with protections to stop, like, wayward fools from trying to come up here to fight the evil overlord. It's really cool. I'm just really, really digging it all. Ooh, cutscene time. At the same time, in Twitch chat, here we go, here we go. I guess we get to meet Cinder. 
Jesus, she crucified him. Spyro. Um, Spyro. What? Feels like a trap, Spyro. <laughs> I don't like this. Feels like she's baiting us. I'm getting smarter. <laughs> I'm getting smarter. You could even say that she's masturbating us. Spyro. Destroy the crystal. Quickly. Let's get him out of here before Cinder gets back. He just said destroy the crystal first. And then she just wa crawls on a... Only it were that easy, little one. Oh, neat. So, so, so b -b big. No, no, no. Sparks. The line is mommy. I think I've recognized that voice actress. Oh, Jesus! Just walloped him! Run! Spyro! Save yourself! But what about the Crystal of Doom? This time, this time I fight. <laughs> Bring it. Alright. Uh, I wonder how this is gonna go. Oh, damn it! Ow. Okay. Even that works decently, apparently. Also, she has thick thighs. All is right in the world. Gotta get out. Gotta get away. Them kind of taking the Okay, phase one. And so sad it must end this way. <laughs> Just batted him away again. Where was I? We have very good voice for Cinder. <laughs> Does she ever use doors? <laughs> Mus from Twitch chat, muscularly thick thighs. There was something in her eyes, Ignitus. Something familiar. There should be, Spyro. How would you even know? You and Cinder share more than you know. He was an egg time, when the dark forces attacked. The truth. So what even? All of it. You see, after I took your egg to the Silver River... Moses you down the river. ...to the grotto to find the utter chaos. The other guardians had been overrun. And all the other eggs had been smashed by the dark Yeesh. forces. All except one. You see, the dark master was torn. He wanted to destroy all the eggs to prevent the birth of the purple dragon. But he also needed a dragon. Why would he need a dragon? Because, Spyro, only one born in the year of the dragon could open the portal. Served as the Dark Master's prison. Huh. Cinder? How come she's bigger than me? We were born at the same time. If we come from the same place. Why is she so. so. evil? Monstrous? <laughs> Sexy? Sexy? Oop, did I say that? If they knew! Spyro, after the night of the raid, she was corrupted by the Dark Master's poisonous powers, twisted by his evil law. Lore, the most He's evil thing. The Dark Master's monster. But why? W what is this dark? Well, apparently, want so out because prison. He wants to be freed from the portal of convexity. To wreak havoc across the realm. As if it has happened already. Cinder gets there. He just might succeed. Oh, I guess that's the portal. We might be too <laughs> The lore. <laughs> I refuse to give up. I'm going to stop Cinder and the Dark Master. <laughs> Wait, you uh, you heard the dragon, Spyro. He said, "Too late. We'll get him next time." <laughs> get him next Come time. On, it's champion. too late. Great job. And let's let's take five. No, I'm ready now. Okay, okay, Spyro, you're right. 
You do know Ignitus. This wouldn't have happened if you sent like Voltier or Cyril to fight Cinder and save me. But it had to be you, Mr. Limp. But off we go into the vortex of doom. May the ancestors look after you. May they look after us all. Yeah, because we have two more phases of a boss fight to go through. At least. Because that was a green health bar, not red. Convexity acts as an airlock between our world and the dark realms beyond. Huh. Is that a planet? Cinder before she inserts the final crystal. A jellyfish? All right, this is obviously made up of multiple platforms. Hello, Cthulhu a whale thing. Now I've seen everything. Yeah, if we don't hurry, I have a feeling you're going to see a whole lot more. Come on. Well, that's an interesting creature design at the very least. From YouTube chat, apologies for not showing up around. I have a very unique sleeping schedule. Ah, no problem. All right, interesting. I don't mind if people miss streams. That's what the VODs are for. All right. <laughs> I guess this is the Dark Realms. Oh, great. There's weird dragon eels flying through the sky. At least they're definitely selling the atmosphere of this place. Forever upset at all the people that didn't like this game just because it was different from normal Spyro. It's so cool! Imagine if we got... <laughs> I just realized something. Spyro ha is forever locked into only having trilogies. If that... There's the Insomniac Trilogy, two games that were trying to be Insomniac, but kind of fit. Camera going crazy. Hmm. Alright, maybe we have to go this way. I'm a fool, I died. Oh, well, we fall to our doom. So does that mean if Spyro does get a movie, he's gonna get a trilogy movie? Maybe. But at the same time, who knows, because it went Insomniac, then two games, like two big 3D games. Then it went uh, Legend of Spyro, which was a trilogy, and he was planning to get a movie. But then Activision and Development Hell. And then we got the Reignited trilogy. So, more than likely... Well, we've had more trilogies than we haven't, so... Maybe. The Spyro movie would be insane. Maybe. It depends on what they use it for. If anything, they probably would use Legend of Spyro as a base. Because it's the most story... Like, based Spyro story. I just... I don't think you could make... Well, I guess you could, but... I personally wouldn't care for, like, a... Insomniac Trilogy. Uh, the camera was messing with me there. I wanted to turn around, but then I flew too far. I'm a fool. My... <laughs> and then the health bar summoned. <laughs> Let's do it. Now the health bar is there forever to haunt us. Yeah, the platforming is just messing up my head because of the, the camera. Sometimes. We haven't had intense platforming yet, so it's a little weird. Yeah, back to thoughts. I just, I don't think, like, a movie based off of any of the original games would really work. Like, sure, you, like, I mean, we know they could do it, because just look at the Mario movie. 
But even then, the Mario movie isn't based off of any one, like, Mario game. Same thing with, like, the Sonic movie. It just takes the core aspect of Sonic and Mario and made it into a movie. But with Spyro, like, what, are you going to have him run around free crystal dragons to fight Nasty Nork? Are you going to send him to the, the uh, other lands, meet up with, like, uh, Alora, bring down Ripto and stuff? Meanwhile, here's, like, a perfectly tailored story here for movies in The Legend of Spyro. Like, perfect opportunity for movie storytelling. Well, there's rumors they're going to be getting a Minecraft movie soon. Yeah, but Minecraft is kind of a weird, like, super franchise. They already had weird, oddly serious storytelling and like, that telltale games minecraft game thing that happened that apparently has a hilarious scene of a pig that was like oh here's the friend pig everybody loves and if depending on your choices i guess the pig can die in minecraft fashion and just turn into pork and it's played completely straight like anything can become a movie if you try hard enough, it's just some things are easier than others. I do like the design of this place. My master returns. You've never even met him. We're too late. <laughs> Persistent little fellow, aren't you? This is where it really ends. Bring it. No mercy this time. I can't watch this. Why are you even here? Oh, Jesus! Uh oh. I got stunned. But luckily, she doesn't know how to do much. So I'll, I'll, I'll lame her the fuck out. I got stunned, damn it. Luckily, heals. My strategy. Aha, you missed again. Oh, that was cool animation of you just docking and dodging my way. What the hell? What the hell's happening? All right. <laughs> it is intense. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Are you going to land? Okay, you land. Your animations are gorgeous. You know what? I'm gonna use my ultimate attack! Face the flame of power! Oh, I need to go get that healing. Oh no, she's running me down! Where was that heal? It was over here. Oh, is she taking to the air again? She's gonna air strafe me to death. I don't have much health. I just need to keep an eye on where she's gonna strafe. At least it's not super hard to dodge. It's still utterly terrifying.
Ah, uh, this is gonna hit. Oh, hey, it missed. Right as I said, it was gonna hit. Take this. Ah, uh, great. <laughs> that... Oh, uh, she did the thing! But that pose she had, defin again, definitely accentuates her thighs. Wh what is- what- what do I- what am I doing? What is this power? How do I have it? I'm just lancing her with purple energy. With giant purple spears. Now it is time to unleash your cock. Oh, uh, you mean this. Now that I gathered enough energy. It's a black fucking hole? What is this? Dragon spirit power, okay. Not what I expected! That is shockingly brutal! Well, what about the Dark Master, though? We still have to worry about the Dark Master! <laughs> and then she shrunk! Just like me. She's teeny and tiny. Though according to Sparks, probably fat. Dude, we gotta get out of here now. I, I can't leave her behind. Look, I she's small now. Beast. She's no longer evil. What? Save the beast has been trying to kill us? Yeah, that wasn't her fault. She was being used by the Dark Master. Well, you better go save her because she's getting sucked in. And we did get sucked in. Okay, good. Yours. <laughs> now we can go. I'm right behind you, buddy. We still did nothing about the Dark Master portal. It's just existing. But we are going through like intergalactic space and the sun. We're just flying. It is not Cinder's day. <laughs> Mommy, drop my pillow. And now we're back in Mushroom Land. Feeling better, Spider? Not really, Ignitus. That battle drained every last bit of my strength. I can hardly lift my head. Yeah. So that's gonna, how they're gonna justify <laughs> the sequel to getting our powers back. They will in time. Cinder, ever since I failed the night of the raid, I've dreamt of this day. It wasn't just you, Ignitus. We In fact, you failed last, Ignitus. Be that as it may, we're together again now. <laughs> Thanks to Spyro. And Sparks, I well guess. done, young dragon. Thanks, Ignitus. But we still don't know what's happened to the Dark Master. No matter, Spyro. There will be time to talk of the Dark Master later. Now it's time to be grateful for your success. His success? Hey, what about me? I do think <laughs> that <laughs> this Cinder's mind. head is a little yeah, weird. You were a, a big help, Sparks. No doubt. I think they refine it later. But just for the record, a lot of weird stuff does come out of that little mouth of yours. And what the heck is that supposed to mean? Well, I mean, what even is the heck is a Kansas, Sparks? Llama people, <laughs> or whatever, where I was appreciated, but no. Now I just had to help the poor helpless dragons rid the world of evil. What a mistake that was because I get no thanks. No respect, no love, no credit. And Cinder is just like, I lost to this. And I thought Voltaire talked a lot. I left home too, you know. I'm a little guy, yeah, that's right. 
Maybe you haven't noticed. Things are a lot bigger to me than they are to you. And did I back away? Uh-uh. Nah, nah, nah. Why? Because I got moxie. I'm a tough cookie. I got class. <laughs> kind of weird that we didn't get... <laughs> didn't get Cinder talking at all after she got obliterated. They knew a good thing when they saw it. They recognized the value of a quality dragonfly like me. But here I get nothing. Not even a thanks. Hey, how you doing? Good. Let me buy you a drink. I should go back to the swamp. Mom will make it all good. <laughs> Mommy always does. But yeah. This was a really good game. Because there's nothing uber wrong with it compared to the other, like, Enter the Dragonfly and... Hero's Tale, where they had very big annoyances that just drag it down. I could see myself replaying this game again sometime, because that was a really good beginning to the Legend of Spyro trilogy. Let's see. Elijah Wood, David Spade, Gary Oldman, always a classic. Cree Summer, I know that voice, but I don't know. Corey Burton, I think I know that name. Jeff Bennett, kind of familiar. Kevin Michael Richardson, not, not as much. Phil Lamar, definitely. Vanessa Marshall. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> but yeah, this is really, really nice. Very, very nice. <laughs> Apparently there's after credits. And from Twitch chat. And that was then just a new beginning. So rating of new beginning. Honestly, I think I could give this like an 8, may, eight, eight to 8.5 on the kind of scale. Because it was very, very good. The only things that are really missing is, like, maybe a small refinement on certain enemy patterns. Because they can get the best of you quite easily. Enemies blocking and, like, parrying you was a weird mechanic, but it only came up a few times, so I guess not terrible. I think that's the thing. This game does have weird little quibbles that are annoying, but they're only there for a split second. And then, like, you die, you try again, and it doesn't come up as bad. You use your breaths a little bit differently, and bam, you win. It's, like, it's very, very good. Honestly? I think it... Mm, I'm trying to think. Because, like, the only thing that I majorly... Like, it's hard to word, but the only failing is that the story wasn't as fleshed out as I would have liked it to be. But considering that they got, like, David Spade as the most talkative character in the entire game, that probably r ran up their bill. And, like, uh, th again, with, like, the beginning, they didn't want... They probably didn't want the player to just go through tons of cutscenes. They wanted the player to actually play the game. So... They probably wanted to kind of skim over the more obvious story bits and let the player get to gameplay. But I would adore, would have adored it if there was more story. Like, cut David Spade out, get like a normal voice actor who doesn't cost $5 billion, and like have more character moments, have more story moments. $10 million for this game, by the way. Like, if you mean just for this game, all in all, that's actually pretty low, well, by today's standards. Not sure, because, like, I'm trying to remember, Final Fantasy VII, like, had, a, like, a $150 million, like, budget overall for development and advertising, I think, if you account for inf inflation, so... $10 million to make this game when they had to get David Spade, a celebrity voice actor. Well, just celebrity doing voice acting. That is a pretty small budget for a very nice game. A very nice game. Sure, I probably beat it in probably... 7 to 8 hours, which isn't a lot. But I pro... Like... In this day and age, I'm just happy when a, an experience with a game is nice. If I have a good time with a game from beginning to end, and the worst that I can say is I wanted more from it, it's like that's a very good game. 
So yeah, like an eight out, eight or nine out of ten for me. Then again, then again, it's entirely possible that that rating is uh, uh, tented by the fact that I played Enter the Dragonfly and uh, A Hero's Tale before this this one. So it's possible that just okay and good seems very phenomenal compared to those games. Because the boss fights were nice and weren't aggravating and felt like it was very much things that I... Like, any failing felt like it was on me. Some of the gameplay, like, uh, parts where I died, it was, like, at least 50% me and 50% the enemies being a little weird. But otherwise, yeah, this is very, very good. The animations, for the most part, were very nice. The music is very good. The voice acting was very nice. The graphics were good. The music, phenomenal. The story, while some people would call it basic, I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed the story. Now let's see. The waddling purple dragon. No, but I've got a bad feeling. Me too. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. Literally my only criticism, <laughs> Elijah Wood interview and credits, the only extras that there are. But yeah, literally my only major complaint is I wish there was more story. I wish that there was more time for things to happen. Like, more story beats. Like, again, I wish that there was more time with the Llama people. Like, again, wish that we actually saw more of them, got to know their plight, and, like, built up to saving them. Same thing with maybe the, uh, We Was Smalls. And, like, I don't know, it's like... Just a little bit more story or, like, flesh out the stories there. Like, uh, it would have been neat if there was actual, like, uh, cutscenes of, like, after the battle. Spyro is just wiped. We get Cinder's reaction to being free of evil control. And she's like, what the hell is going on? What have I done? Spyro, oh my god, what did I do? Are you okay? It's just, like, something. There's, like, more story is what I would want out of this. But... Yeah, this is phenomenal. It's a little bit hard to compare to, like, the Insomniac trilogy. Because they are different games with different, like, focuses. This game had a high focus on story. And, like, the Insomniac trilogy, it was just, hey, we need small little inciting incident to justify gameplay. And it was fun. But this game, it was story mixed with gameplay, whereas the first Spyro game, and even second and third Spyro games from Insomniac, were story to justify the gameplay, while this was story and gameplay intertwining a bit more, which was very fun. But yeah, I also, also, I do find it interesting because if I remember correctly... In the first Spyro game, the very, very first one, before Tom Kenny voiced Spyro, some of the dragons that you free, like, vaguely allude to Spyro having a destiny. So, I, I do find it kind of funny that, like, there there's, like, a vague destiny legend for Spyro, and then years and years later, here we have the legend of Spyro. It's come full circle. It almost makes you feel like the original Spyro games happened, like, that ten generations ago. And that Spyro is the one that was born. And then... Oh, they do in Reignited. Ah, so maybe they changed it, the dialogue from the original... Original, original Insomniac games, and then Reignited changed the dialogue. <laughs> you know, I don't know the changes that they made there. <laughs> I never thought about that. Ah, uh, but uh, regarding my comment on, like, uh, more story and, like, Cinder's reaction, you get some of that in the next game. 
the Eternal Night, which will be interesting to get into. Because now, like, th this game pretty much sums up all the knowledge that I have about Legend of Spyro. It was like, uh, Spyro gets moses I think. And, uh, goes to fight evil Cinder. Again, it's hilarious because when I, because I was a child when, like, these games were being released. And I vaguely remember seeing a trailer for this game. And young child I thought that Cinder was Spyro's evil mother. So I just think that's hilarious. But yeah, I just really, really enjoyed this. The beat-em-up, like, uh, is kind of basic, but there's also, like, enough that you can do that it's not stale. Because there's the air combos, you can, and just, like, lots of things you can do. You have lots, well, not lots of things, but you have enough that you can do that it's not super-duper stale. And the breath powers really do, like, uh, liven it up. If I had to rank all of the breath powers, I think they're all really good. It's just that uh, ice feels a bit... Ice feels a bit underused because it feels inconsistent. Because ice turns some enemies into snowballs, but it freezes some enemies. But it doesn't freeze some enemies and doesn't turn them into snowballs. It's a very weird power, ice. Ice is a weird power. But the other ones, fire is nice and consistent. Electricity is very, very, very fun to use to throw enemies off platforms. And the earth power is really nice, especially when you upgrade the, the projectile. So yeah, this is a very good game. And honestly, from a biased perspective, I prefer this to the Insomniac games. Because... <laughs> When it comes to, like, vibes and story, this has it in spades. I do really, really enjoy the Insomniac trilogy, especially the Reignited trilogy. But there's just something about this. And if Internal Night and Dawn of the Dragon can nail the landing to this trilogy, I think I will utterly adore this. Utterly adore it. And now I realize, now Brain is telling me to draw Spyro and Cinder and stuff, but b b drawing is difficult. Yeah, I'll have, to, I'll have to think about it. I'll, I'll figure something out, maybe. <laughs> but this is fun. This is very, very fun. But thank you very much for watching, everybody. Next time, we will be streaming The Legend of Spyro, The Eternal Night. Which should be at Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time because I'm trying to stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard. And next time we will see what else this trilogy has got to offer. But if you want more from me, everything that I do is in my link tree. Linktr.ee slash Neon Icy Wings with direct links found in descriptions, bios, and link places of basically every site. In there, you can find links to my edited content YouTube channel. I swear, I'll I'll make I'll, I'll make YouTube content again sometime. B -b -b editing is hard, and if you like streaming, I stream to my streaming YouTube channel as well as upload all these vods to it. And if Twitch is more your speed, there's also Twitch for streaming up up, up in there, link tree linked in there. If you want art similar to my little character in the corner, you can see me upload various arts to the various sites like Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, Blue Sky, all those links in the link tree. And even stories I do write. Currently fanfiction because publishing original is hard. So stories that I write can also be found through links in my link tree. And for the affluent, for the super kind and well-off places, there is a Patreon that is basically just a donation box. But... Yes, thank you again for watching, everybody, and remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind and stay hydrated. I hope to see you, dude, next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>